Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be building a digital breakout activity. Feel free to pause the video as needed while you are building. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing we're going to do is click on create experience to create our new experience. Now the concept of my digital breakout is that a king has found a magical chest that can only be unlocked via a magical password and the password is going to be earth crust. So let's go ahead and get started by adding our king character. We'll search for king here. There's a king character and we'll say something like the king has found a magical chest. Let's add a button that says next. We'll add a character scene for the next part of our story. And in this one, let's include the chest as the character. So there we have chest and perfect. This is a closed chest. It's a locked chest. Let's link up the button to the next scene. We'll add some dialogue that says the chest can only be opened using a magical password. Okay, now let's add a button that says next here. And now we're going to add our main menu. So let's add a character scene. Let me drag that underneath here. And we'll say something like crack the code to unlock the chest. Perfect. Now let's link our previous button to this scene and our main menu is going to have two options. One's going to be to crack the code and the other one is going to be to see the clues. So let's type those in, crack the code, and then the second one will just say clues. So let's go ahead and take care of our crack the code section. Since we're going to be using a password, we know that we're going to use a text input scene. Let's drag that down here. And then since we have to validate that text, we might as well add a check text response block that's found in the text section. We'll drag that down there. All right, let's link crack the code to our text input scene. We'll say something like, what is the password? And then the text to check for will be earth crust. Uh, I'm not going to make it case sensitive because I don't really care whether they type the capitals or not. And then we have on response contains and on response does not contain two branching paths. So let's quickly add the response does not contain part of this. We'll drag this down here. On response does not contain. Maybe we'll find a character that says something like nope. And perfect. That uh, is the first one there, and we'll link on response does not contain to this incorrect scene. We'll say something like, that is not the password. Try again. And we'll have a button that says, try again. We'll link that button back to our main menu. Great. Now let's take care of our clues. So I'm going to give three clues, so we're going to need three character scenes. There's one, here's two, and there's three. Now let's zoom out and I'm going to give you a pro tip. You can actually select multiple scenes to move them just by holding down the command key on your keyboard. So the first one is already selected. I'm gonna hold down the command key and then select the other two. And then we'll drag those underneath here. Perfect. Now let's zoom back in so that you can see clues section. Let me actually move this scene up a little bit and we'll move all three of these just up slightly as well. There we go. Let's link the clues button to our first clue. Now the first clue is for the word earth. So we're just going to include a picture of the world. So we're going to type in earth here. We'll use this one. Perfect. And we'll just say world because world is another name for earth. Let's add a button that says next clue and let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on um, and we'll link that next clue button to our next clue. So the second clue is for the word crust and what else has crust? Pizza has crust. So we're going to see if we can find an image of pizza that we can use. Looks like this one works well. We'll just say pizza up here and we'll add a button that says next clue. Okay. We'll link that up to our third clue and the third clue I came up with is top layer but there's not really a good image for that so I'm just going to go back to that king character that we were using. All right and then we'll say something like the king notices a carving on the chest that says 
top layer. There we go. That's how we can incorporate that clue into our breakout activity. Now let's add a button that says back to main menu and we'll link that back to our main menu. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have so far. We have two character scenes for the intro to our story. We have our main menu scene. We have crack the code, which is a text input scene pattern, which we're still missing the correct path, but we'll take care of that in just a second. And then we have our three clues underneath here. Great, let's take care of our correct path for the check text response block. So if they get the correct response, they're gonna unlock the chest. So let's add a character scene, maybe with a chest that is unlocked. We'll go ahead and change the character. I'll go back and search for chest. And this first character will work just fine. It's an open chest with gold in it. Now we have to make sure that we link our response contains to that scene. And we'll say something like the chest has been unlocked, revealing a pile of gold. The king rewards your intelligence with some gold coins. Now we'll add a button that says get gold and we're actually going to award an item here so we're going to use a give item scene. I have an image that I downloaded off the internet that we're going to use for our item so we're going to click on the item here, we're going to click on new and then I'm going to upload that image here, gold coins PNG We'll name this gold coins and then we'll say something like a gift from the king. Perfect. Now let's click on create item to save that item and let's link our button to that give item scene. Now for this last section I'm going to add a selfie wall. So we'll add a character scene that says something like time to celebrate with a selfie. Let's link up our give item scene to this photo scene. And we will change the character maybe to a camera. Perfect, that Polaroid camera looks nice. Now what I like to do here is have three options. So I'm gonna add three buttons. The first option is going to be to view the photos that people have taken. Second one is going to be to take selfie. And the last one is just going to be to skip this section entirely for people that don't want to take photos. Okay, so after this we need our photo media wall pattern. So what we're going to do is add a camera scene because we're going to be taking a photo. We're going to add a media wall because we know we're going to present those photos on a media wall. And then we're going to add a save to wall block because we need a way to save the photos to the wall. Perfect, let me link all of this up really quick. All right, and then let's link the buttons from this photo menu. So view photos is going to go to the media wall, take selfie is going to go to the camera scene, and then we'll leave skip alone for now. Now let's quickly add a camera frame. So I'm gonna click on create frame and then we'll click on the create frame button to add our own. Maybe we'll have that chest character again, perfect. Drag that down to the bottom here, make it slightly bigger. Maybe there's some gold that we can also add. I'll type in gold and see what comes up. And these gold bars will work just fine. We'll make that just slightly smaller and we'll put that right on the right. Now we'll click save to save this photo filter on our camera scene. And now we have to create our photo wall. So I'll click on the save to wall block. I'll click on new. And then we have to name our wall. I'll call this treasure hunters. And then we'll say we were able to unlock the magical chest. We'll add a little smiley face. Now we'll click on create wall to create that wall. And we have to make sure that the wall is selected in both the block and the media wall. So we'll click on the media wall. We'll click on the selector, scroll down to the bottom, and here's treasure hunters right there. So now we link our media wall back to this photo menu. And we have our skip button, and I'm actually gonna change this to end, and we're gonna add an ending character scene here. So let's add that character scene. Maybe we'll make it a king again. Here we go. Where's the king character? There it is. We'll say something like, thanks for playing. 
we'll link this end button to the final scene and then we'll have a button that says end experience where the transition is to end the experience. Perfect, let me drag this king character down here at the bottom and then we'll zoom out and you should be able to see the entire experience here. So let's again go over what we just did. We have two characters for our intro scene. We have a main menu that prompts you to crack the code or view the clues. Three character scenes to represent our clues. We have the crack the code section that's just a text input scene and a check text response block. Then we have some more story where we give a where we give gold as an item, and then finally we have time to celebrate with a selfie. We have a selfie wall all set up right here, and then a final character scene to end the experience. So it's all linked up, it's all working, let's go ahead and publish it. So I'm gonna call this the magical chest, and then in our description we'll say something like, can you crack the code to unlock the treasure chest. Perfect, now we'll click publish. And now we have a fully functioning digital breakout activity. I hope you learned something about the different patterns we can use to create activities like this. Feel free to use this experience, make a copy of this experience. You can actually scan it right now from your computer and see the experience in action. Thank you for joining me in this exercise and we will see you next time.